happy holidays melted just like mine this bowl is damn hot right now So in today's video, I thought I would be doing a holiday type of related kind of video and I'm going to be doing a DIY of one of my favorite, favorite Starbucks drinks during the holidays and that is going to be the white peppermint mocha. So in order to make this drink, the things you guys are going to need, one, either coffee or hot chocolate mix, measuring spoons, a measuring cup, a cup to put a drink your drink in, which mine, by the way, looks hella hipster. Milk, either 2% or homogenized. Water, and of course, the biggest part of this recipe, Hershey's Candy Cane Kisses. So let's get started. So the first thing you guys want to probably do is heat up your milk and cup of water. And that's what I think I'm going to do. So I will be right back. So here I'm using one cup of water and two cups of milk. You guys can do whatever you want. You can do one cup of water or one cup of milk. It's your choice, but... I like my milk. Say hi. Can you guys see? So what you want to do next is either take your coffee or your hot chocolate mix and put half a teaspoon in that in your milk. I'm going to use hot chocolate because I don't really like coffee that much even though I do drink a lot of Starbucks. You guys can do a little extra if you want. Like me. So you're going to want to stir that until it's mixed together really well. So once you guys have gotten into a kind of milk chocolate consistency, you can pour that in with your water. Perfecto. With extra. So what you want to do next is take your Hershey's Candy Cane Kisses, about 8 to 10, whatever you guys want. I'm choosing 12 because I like my sweets. And peel every single wrapper off so it doesn't get into your drink. Once you guys have peeled every single chocolate you guys want to put it in a bowl and then heat it up in your microwave for about 30 to 30 seconds to 45 seconds depending on how strong your microwave is with my microwave it's about 30 seconds it's pretty damn strong so i'll be right back once your chocolate has melted just like mine this bowl is damn hot right now you just want to mix it all together oh this smells delish guys mm like the candy cane mm. oh, and this is hot so once you guys have mixed it together it's gonna look like that it has like a very liquidy consistency you're just gonna want to put it in your liquid mixture and then you're just gonna want to mix that together let me just take a sip because it's Oh, it's starting to taste like it. Delish! But you guys want to mix this until you feel like the chocolate has mixed in with the liquid really well. Uh-oh, I spilled. Uh-oh. So I think mine's finished. Let's take a sip. Oh my god, guys. Delicious, like always. So good. I've made this a couple times and every single time. If you guys want, you guys can put whipped cream on top and then like crush candy cane bits and just sprinkle it on top. 
I don't know, do what you ever feel. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that easy peasy DIY white peppermint mocha, Paul Zedrick style. Don't forget to check out my recent video where you guys can win a giveaway by Julu products. So make sure you click that, it's gonna be right here. Rock her, rock her, rock her. Mm -mm -mm. Also, don't forget to check out my social media links down below. Like always, go follow me on Instagram if you want. So like I said, that is it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys later. Mm. Bye! <laughs>